I'm gonna have to do time served, so I'm gonna have to go to jail for, I don't really know how long. Um, it'll probably be on, on the weekend sort of thing. I started to realize that I was really lucky that I didn't get hurt and that I hadn't hurt someone else and that I'm on the Dean's list every semester. I'm in honors programs. Um, you know, like I'm, this isn't a pattern. So I basically have to convince this judge that I'm not this typical criminal. About a month ago, I got a DWI, and it's sort of, they, they work really hard to sort of ruin your life for the next two or three years. Um, so yeah, that was my unethical decision to get into a car when I was very drunk and drive. Uh, well, it was kind of a combination of things. I was, so I was, I had been drinking, and I wasn't speeding or anything. And like I said, I was really close to my house. I was doing maybe like 20 or 30, um, but I was also texting, and I just sort of, hit a parked car um, and the damage wasn't that bad but my car horn wouldn't stop blaring and so someone called 911 and obviously like I was I was arrested and I spent about a day and a half in jail I'm gonna have to do time served so I'm gonna have to go to jail for I don't really know how long um, it'll probably be on, on the weekend sort of thing um, but I basically have to sort of convince him that this is not a pattern that this is a mistake um, so I have to bring in all of my school records, um, like work records, to, to sort of show that like I work hard, I'm a full-time, uh, I, like I work full-time, I'm a full-time student, I'm on the Dean's List every semester, I'm in honors programs. Um, you know, like I'm, this isn't a pattern. So I basically have to convince this judge that I'm not this typical criminal. When I got arrested, I was really angry because I was very much trying to convince them that I was not drunk. Um, but once I, once I sobered up, I was, so I was really mad and I was like fighting with the cops and you know, whatever. Um, but once I sobered up, I started to realize that I was really lucky that I didn't get hurt and that I hadn't hurt someone else and that it was so late in the, or so early in the morning that no one had been outside. Um, and then I just sort of felt kind of like a really terrible, irresponsible person because it could have hurt someone. And like I said, this is, this thing is going to follow me around for like two years. I'm, I'm glad that I had a job already because if I was trying to get a job, probably wouldn't be able to get one. Um, so people judge you on things like that, you know, it's a very obvious thing not to do. And when you're so irresponsible that you just kind of do it anyway, regardless of the really terrible um, possible outcomes. It's, yeah, it's really embarrassing, it's mortifying. It sounds super cliche, but like, it's just super not worth it. Like, I don't think that people really understand what happens, like all the, all the sort of hoops you have to jump through to get, or, or when you get a, a DUI to sort of get your license back to convince people. I mean, I have to pay for a lawyer, I have to pay for so much things, so many fines and stuff. Um, I would just tell them that it's, it's really not worth it. Just, I'm sure that their parents and their loved ones would rather get a call at three in the morning you know, um, saying, hey, I'm super drunk, um, can you come pick me up, rather than having to get a call from jail. And much less, I mean, hurting someone else. So my personal definition of ethics is probably really simple. It's just sort of what is good and what is bad, what is right and what is wrong. But I know that it gets complicated because ethics can be um, sort of defined by religion or the law or what someone's personal feelings are, or personal concept of right and wrong is. I feel like um, when, when, when I do something wrong, I generally like to fess up to it because it makes me feel better. Like whoever I say it to, they can do whatever they want with it, but it feels like this sort of purge. Um, and so then I feel like I can move on, I can learn from it. I'm not hiding from it anymore. I'm saying it, you know, I'm actually speaking the words. And so it makes me feel, makes me feel better.